forecast is we do have some cloud coverage, we do have some cooler temperatures, and we do have some rain potential, but it's all, we're getting it out of the way during the week when we're all busy working and at school. But by the time next weekend rolls around, we'll see more beautiful, sunny, warm weather. Currently, we're sitting at 66 degrees in Seattle. We are starting to see some of that cloud coverage build, and that is going to increase into our overnight hours. Satellite and radar showing some of that light rain starting to pop up, really just impacting the northern ends of that Olympic Peninsula right now. But around Puget Sound, it's just that increasing cloud coverage for us uh, right now. As we head into our evening now hours, though, we're going to continue to watch that moisture build in. That's going to first start in the form of cloud coverage, but then we could see a few sprinkles in the morning. I'll show you that in just a moment, but temperatures are going to take a dive with this as well. Today we did hit 80 degrees at SeaTac. Tomorrow we're looking at a high of in the low 70s. So we are going to see temperatures much cooler tomorrow. Still comfortable. We're still in the low to mid to upper 60s up to the north and then low to mid 70s down to the south. 60s and 70s for the Olympic Peninsula as well. 70s into the 80s for the east. So it's still comfortable. In fact, it's still actually pretty close to seasonal for this time of year. It's just a little bit cooler than what we've been seeing. We have the chance to squeeze out a few sprinkles. The reality is most of us will stay dry a majority of the day. It's just a few raindrops getting squeezed out. It's looking like late morning right now is our highest potential, especially up to the north. Down south though, around South Sound, you actually likely will stay dry most of the day. I'm not expecting any rain down south, but we could see a few sprinkles, really Seattle and up to the north. So this evening, it's going to stay isolated to the Olympic Peninsula. Through our overnight hours, it's going to try to push into Puget Sound. Looks like between 9 to 10 a.m., we could see a little bit of rain pushing in around the Sound, uh, Seattle, and then up to the north of that. But it does look like south of Seattle will stay dry. Into our afternoon hours, that potential does continue. But by tomorrow evening, that evening commute will be dry. That sun will actually pop back out. Then it looks like two Tuesday afternoon, we are going to see a little bit more rain potential, but same thing. It's messy. It's not strong. So really any impacts will be very minimal and then we'll see sunshine return once again. Accumulations for tomorrow next to nothing. Hundreds at best and really it's not going to be anything major for us, but temperatures will stay cool for the next couple of days. We're in the low to mid 70s through about Thursday, but check that out by next weekend. It does look like we are bringing back the 80s once again.